A compressor is a really important tool for getting good mixes, but it can be really hard to understand for beginners. So in this video, I'm going to show you what a compressor is, what the knobs on it do, and when you need to use it. Let's listen to this vocal track. Key to success, he's the heavenly blessed. He is warrior, hero, and liar. So that's a really nice sounding vocal. And now let's put it in the mix. Okay, the problem here is that I hear certain words, other words are too low. It's not consistent enough to make it easy for me to mix. So what a compressor does is it's going to limit all the loud parts so I can get a nice consistent level during my mix. So let me put the compressor on here so you can hear it. He to success, he's the heavenly blessed. He is warrior, hero, and liar. Okay, so now we have a nice, even, consistent level for mixing. Now let's take a look at what the knobs on the compressor do. The first knob to look at is threshold. Threshold determines when the compressor is going to start working. So if I have a threshold that's really high all the way up, Key to success, he's the heaven. It's not going to do anything. The lower you make the threshold, the more it's going to compress. So if we look at my vocal here, we can see it in the meter. Key to success, he's the heaven. It's not hitting the threshold, so therefore the compressor is not working. So if I lower the threshold. Key to success, he's the heavenly blessed. He is warrior. He so now we can see my vocal is hitting the threshold and going past it. So that's how you make the compressor turn on. Key to success, he's the heaven. The next important control to look at is ratio. Ratio determines how strongly it's going to compress. Let's go to a two to one ratio. Key to success, he's the heavenly black. Now this is kind of subtle. What two to one means is for every two decibels my vocal passes this threshold, only one decibel will be let through. Now that's pretty subtle, but if I lower the threshold a lot, key to success, he's the head. Even a two to one ratio can sound really strong. So if you look at it that way, if let's say my vocal is going past the threshold by 20 decibels, then it's only letting 10 through. So that's a lot of compression. Higher ratios, like let's look at six to one, for example. Key to success, he's the heavenly black. So that means for every six decibels that pass the threshold, only one is going to be let through. But if I bring the threshold way down, Key to let's say I'm going over it by 30 decibels. Well, if I go over it by 30 decibels, then only five are going to be let through. So. That could be pretty Key strong. To success, he's the head. A lot of compressors have what they call infinity to one, or on this compressor, and this is the stock Pro Tools compressor. This is a hundred to one. Key to success, he's the head. And what that does is no matter what passes the threshold, it's only letting one decibel through. There are also some other really powerful controls on a compressor. Knee determines how hard or soft the compressor is going to work. Now, right now, I have it set to a hard knee. Key to Meaning, when the sound passes the threshold, it's going to start right away and slam that sound. But if I put on a softer knee, as you can see, represented by the curve here, it's going to gradually fade in the compression. Key to success, he's the heavenly blessed. So that gives me a more natural and smooth sound. The next controls I want to talk about are attack and release. These are time-based controls. Attack determines how long it takes the compressor to turn on after hearing the initial sound, and release determines how long it stays on. A great way to hear how this works is to turn the threshold down a lot. So here's, here's a bass drum track. So I'm going to turn this down. Okay, so with a quick attack, you really can't hear much. but as I raise the attack, you're going to start hearing the beater. So now I know I'm letting the first initial sound of that beater slip through the compressor. And I can also control how long it stays on. So you notice the lower I make the release, it almost lengthens the decay of the bass drum. So not only is a compressor a good tool for evening things out, but you can bring out certain parts of a sound by using the attack and the release. So now let's bring the threshold back up to hear what it would sound like in context. Yeah. 
The last and probably most useful control on the compressor is the makeup gain. Since a compressor compresses and brings the loud parts down, you're going to need to boost your overall gain when you're done compressing. So let's go back to this bass drum. So if I compress it a lot, let's say I go really crazy with this, with a threshold of minus 42 decibels, and I want to boost this sound, then I have to bring the makeup gain up to compensate. So that's how you use a compressor. Thanks for watching.